All right, everybody. We 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 have a very monumental situation that's happened where we've had one of the greatest bands of all time retire a couple of years ago. I'm guessing 2019. You guys remember? So the one of the guitar players uh, released an album. We've made our jokes. We've had some laughs. We had our comments. The community is over here and over here with it. Me, I haven't heard this. I haven't heard it at all. So kind of excited because I want you know I love Slayer. <sighs> Um, right. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to listen to each song on here and we're not going to go through the whole damn album track, but like, no, we're going to do the. And so what we're going to do is we're going to listen to the first 30 seconds of it, because technically that's how American consumers are nowadays. Right. Let's go ahead and go through each track of this album, of the Carrie King album from Hell I Rise. If I get demonetized, cool, whatever it is, what it is, he, he could have the money. It's fine. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go through each individual one. So the first song, first song is called Diablo. All right, let's, let's hear it. Create an atmosphere, that's cool. I dig it, I dig it. You can hear the bass, so here we go. Okay, so we're 30 seconds in. Um, yeah, I'm cool with it. I mean, you, I know you're creating the uh, atmosphere. I know what you're doing, Carrie. I know you've done that in Slayer for quite some time, so I got you. All right, uh, it's a minute and 54 so please tell me you're going to use another riff after this but all right cool cool so the next one next song we have here is where i rain <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, this what do you expect? You know what I mean? It's uh it's Slayer. It's it's uh it's it's giving me very Slayer. It is. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but it's uh it's Slayer. It's uh it's just Slayer with new people. But you know, uh production sounds great. Can't I'm not gonna argue about production. Production sounds amazing. Um you no, know, the it's uh it's fine. It's Slayer. It's what you expect out of a Carrie King album. Because you you ain't hearing any acoustic guitars on here. And if you do, yeah. So okay, all right, all right. So that was what was that? Where I ran. Cool. Next one is Residue. Oh, damn. Oh, right at the 30 second mark. Okay. Um, it's good. It's good. I mean, Paul Bosef is, is, he's good. I mean, the only man that could, uh, hold the candle to anything else, you know, to be in a testament in Slayer and all those other, uh, thrash bands and stuff. You know, he's a thrash icon too, you know, so, um, it's, uh, it's good. It's just nice building atmosphere. A lot of it, you know, I know Resident, or what was it? What was the other one? Where I Rain. Uh, I know he's coming in. He's, they, they just came in hot. This one, okay, we're building more atmosphere. Thirty sec. I mean, again, I'm loving the production. I'm really loving the production on this. It's it's it's, not, it's sounding heavy. It's um. And it, it, say what you want about Kerry. I think he's always had he's always had a pretty good tone, right? You know, and, and um, I think in in Repentless and the one before it, World Pain and Blood, he they did the guitar sounded really really good. So uh, I like what I hear. I like it. I like it. So okay. So this is uh, the next one is Idle Hands, which is the next. Uh, uh, which was the first release, I'm, I'm assuming, right? And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. And I, to be honest, I didn't hear the whole thing uh, until like a week after it was released. So let's let's hear the 30 seconds. <laughs> So begins 
I'm devil worship. Violence spreads my retribution. It's a great retaliation. I can't believe what I see. What? Ah, you know, this is it's good. It's good. It's build up again, but uh, it's. I think that's kind of like the old school metal thing, you know, right? Like having such a build up, you know. So I like it. It's it's good. It's nice. I, I'm definitely on the workout playlist. Maybe on the Slayer playlist that I have. All right. All right. So the next one is a Trophy of the Tyrant. Trophies of the Tyrant. Con permiso. Sorry. So let's hear that one. Very Monomarth. Right, hold on, hold on. Who, who thought of Monomarth, right? Who, who was like, who was the character was listening to too much Amon Amarth right here for this one? That's too Amon Amarth. Again, I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying. Who else thought Pursuit of Vikings, right? Who else thought, right? Let's, let, I'll give this one a chat. Listen again. Listen again. Think Pursuit of Vikings. I'll give you a second. I'll give you, I'll give you three seconds. Pursuit of Vikings. Dun, take it, dun, dun, take it, dun, take it, dun, dun, take it. Okay. Now listen. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, eh, you know. Okay. Next one is uh, track number six, Crucifixion. Crucifixion. Ooh, evil. So let's give it to 30 seconds. If I would listen to the, I think this would be my favorite song. To be honest with you, I like it. Is it the, what happened to the bass though? What happened? It was there, and then it went away. So what happened with that? What happened with the bass? The, okay. Next song is tension. Let me say yeah, tension, right? Okay. All right. A lot of one-word songs here. Residue, crucifixion, tension, toxic, rage. Okay. So let's hear it. Tension. All right. A little bit of uh, God Hates the Fall. Yeah. Yeah. This is of the Abyss. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Carrie, yeah. Carrie does a really good job of like creating a good intro, creating good ambience. You know, you know, it's um, I don't know, maybe it's just how metal is nowadays, where it's like I want the riff now, like you know, but well, especially with Slayer, it's like Slayer, like they do the ambience, but then the riff is like right there, it's like you know. All right, next song is uh, everything I hate about you. Oh, 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 I'll carry you. That's doing case, bro. You need a solo right there. That's your production. Uh, he sounded too much like Tom. Is it me? Is it me? It just sounded too much like Tom. But that's okay. That's okay. It's style. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I think what really would have set that song apart is just having Phil just come in. Right? Just fucking. Just, just getting fucking ape shit. You know, because Phil's the man, dude. Phil's Phil. Phil could do no wrong in my eyes. Jackson, baby. 
Um, as he has a dean right here. That's Dimebag though, so shut up. All right, all right. Next one is Toxic. Toxica. There we go. There we go. We got the rule. I like it. I like this one. I like it. My favorite one. I wish I could give it another three minutes. This is good. That was good. That's probably my favorite. The groove. See, this he carried does this thing. I wish I had my guitar. Well, it's right there, but I don't want to grab it. Wish he, I really like how he does that that groove part. That you know, I know he made that riff. I know he. Made, you fucking know for a motherfucking fact he made that riff in uh, Angel of Death, right? Angel, yeah. So, uh, good, good, really good groove, groove, groove. I really like how uh, Paul is just like, you know, keeping it simple, cool, solid, solid drummer. Obviously, the whole the whole crew is really good. You know, he's he's got an all star cast. You know, so it's great. Okay, uh, next one is Two Face, Two Face, Two Faces. But I know the brutal truth This fucking ship's about to sink I think I need another drink I only want the right to choose Which I have Oh It went good to just like Ugh Ugh uh. <laughs> To me, that sounds like if Blink-182 just do, ten, like, just detune. If, like, Blink-182 from went from E standard to just, like, they found out what D standard was, right? And they're like, you know, um, very punk, uh, very old school punk, but it's like, brother, we in 2024. We, we gotta, we gotta, um, who's say, but we gotta, you know, uh, carry, I mean, you know, this, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, not my favorite song on the album. That's not my favorite one. That, this is definitely not my favorite one. So, uh, excuse me. Okay, so the next one is Rage. Against the Machine or On the Streets? So... Give me, give me some intro colors. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's it's it's, it's good. Uh, you know, it's, uh, like you know, it's. I, I want I want an intro solo. I want I I know they have it in here. Maybe the next couple songs, but I know they have it. The point where it's gonna be, it's it, you're hiding it from me. That's what it is. You, you some some the best. Oh, what song was it? Was it Slayer song? Where they just they just start off with a solo. I was like, I love I like that though. I like that. I like that shit. That shit's like that shit. I like that shit a lot because it's just like, oh, fuck, like, like oh, shit. Okay, cool. Wish it was there. Wish it was on that one. Wish it was on that one. Okay, next one is, I'm not even going to try to fucking pronounce it. I'm not, I'm I'm not going to embarrass myself. Fuck that shit. Okay. Hey, Pongo. Good tone. Good tone. Who else is thinking season of the abyss? Right. I feel like he was like listening to it. He's like, fuck it. All right, let me just, you know, this is like, oh, let me fucking, let's see. Okay, let me copy. All right, control C and then control V. Okay, let me just move this. It's good. It's fine. It's nice. It's, uh, it's, it's very Slayer. Very Slayer, you know, and what do you expect? Because he's the guy in Slayer. So it's like... All right, so we're coming up to the final one, and it is um, the third. Oh, they, they put 13 tracks. There's a couple numbers that are evil, right? Six, 13, 69, you know, and homeboy just said, I'm with 13. 
All right, all right, Karen. All right, all right, all right. That's good. That's good. That's good. There we go. It's good. That's probably my second favorite. That's probably my second favorite. Again, a couple things. Um, let me let me give you the let me give you the cons first. Let me give you the cons first. Where's the bass? The bass was fucking right there in the first first track. Gone. Completely gone. Slayer. Uh, not that it's like a big con. It's just like it just sounds like. But I, again, it's like see, you know what I mean? Like you can't you can't ex- you. you w- for the other people who are like oh, what you know and i'm guessing there's they're probably the dudes that like the guitar virtuoso guys that are just like yeah I like thrash too and then they listen to this and they're like oh it's it's carrie king like you know like what the fuck did you expect was it gonna say like you thought it was gonna sound like fucking abba you thought it was gonna sound like periphery you thought it was gonna sound like fucking elton john did you think it was gonna sound like fucking Danzig? Do you think it was going to sound like The Exploited? Do you think it was going to sound like Subhumans? Do you think it was going to sound like, you know, no, it's just, it's the guy in Slayer wanted to continue Slayer. And so he wrote more Slayer, which makes sense, which makes sense. He, but, and here's the cool thing. He got a group of fucking badass motherfuckers to go out there and just tear shit up, which is cool, which is cool. Um, That, and then um, the lyrics, I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, it is what it is, you know. Uh, but then again, I'm like, I'm big on vocabulary. All right, let's talk about the pros. So the pros, production. Production is top notch. You know, and it's see, and that's the thing. Production with 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 Carrie and especially with those guys, with these fine motherfuckers that are just playing, it's just it's gonna be good. You know, it's gonna be good. I think the biggest thing um is production. Um, t- the tone sounds good. Um, I think I think this is. I think it's really brave of Carrie to kind of do this because, I mean, he's kind of, you know, falling in the way. Well, you know, not falling. Uh, he's kind of like checking where he could go, right? You know, some stuff that he wrote for Repentless. And, you know, um, again, he said in numerous interviews and stuff like, hey, this is stuff that he wrote. Um, drums sound really good. Um, I think I think Paul Bosaf has sounded really badass in these first 30 seconds. Um, I think, what else? Uh, artwork was cool. <laughs> uh, so it was DSI, so everybody shut up on that. Um, you know, what else can I say? You know, I, I think, I think, you know, if, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. And, and then I think, I think some people might agree with me and I hope they do. Um, I hope Kerry puts out another one. And you know why? Because I hope this is just like a good foundation for him. And maybe the second one would be better, right? Or eh, I won't say better. Let me scratch that. Maybe it will be, um, you know, different. It will be, you know, uh, maybe he might have new guys, maybe have, you know, but I think overall, I think, let me give you the rating. I'm going to give, I'm going to give this one for the first 30 seconds, a score out of 10 because everybody does five. So fuck that. Uh, I'm going to get from just hearing it, just hearing it. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a 6.5. I'm going to give it a listen through. I'm going to give it a whole thing, but I'm going to give it a 6. And a 6.5, <laughs> trust me, I, I wasn't pretty high because I didn't think I was going to give it that high. So, uh, you know, so Carrie, keep doing what you're doing, man. You're loving what you're doing. Keep doing it. Cashing those checks um, and uh, keep making the heavy and uh, kicking ass. And, uh, you know, best of luck to the boys that are in the band too. And uh, yeah. So if you found this uh, in it, or if you like it, do the like, comment, the hand, the hand, the hand, the hand. Uh-huh. What'd you think of the album let me know message me do that shit listen to my band uh burning legion listen to my solo shit mayhem inferno with some new shit that's coming out so cool bye